let's first of all talk about USA Cycling. Uh, give us a sense as to what what that is. Yeah, USA Cycling is the national governing body of the sport of bike racing. So if you think about the Olympics, you've got the US Olympic and Paralympic Committee. Every sport that is in the Olympic program has a uh, national governing body. You've got uh, you know, USA Track and Field, USA Swimming, USA Basketball. We are USA Cycling. Um, and um, you know we govern the sport of amateur bike racing, you know, kind of grassroots racing that people do all over America. But we're also responsible for um, developing the athlete to participate in the Olympic Games and also selecting the team for the Olympic Games for cycling. So under that umbrella comes the National Mountain Bike Team. Um, explain what what that team is all about. Yeah, of course. So, you know, we, there are several different disciplines within cycling. You know, there's road racing, like you've got in the Tour de France, you know, the Joe Martin stage race, stage race which takes place right there in, in Fayetteville is one of America's most beloved road races. Um, you know, that is one discipline. Mountain biking is another discipline. You've seen track cycling on the velodrome. That's another discipline. BMX racing is another one. So anyways, each of those disciplines, we have a national team. You know what the national team is, is this is the group of individuals that are the highest potential American bike racers in their discipline. And um, you know, we work very closely with them, both on the bike and off the bike, um, to make sure they have everything they need as they prepare to try to make the Olympic Games and for some of them, you know, try to pursue an Olympic medal. But we, you know, we offer coaching, travel, training. We take these athletes um, competing all over the world where they race for Team USA. And um, yeah, we're the body that, that manages all of that. Choosing Bentonville or choose it, well, Northwest Arkansas in particular, Bentonville, what was the, what was the discussion like and why was this area chosen for that? Well, you know, we, um, I would uh, you know, Bentonville, very Northwest, Bentonville and Northwest Arkansas have become such an incredible hub for cycling and uh, on the one hand what you have is a great place for people to go who aren't serious racers they just love to ride whether it's a family trip or a, a guy's trip or a gal's weekend where they want to go ride their mountain bikes or go do some gravel riding or something like that the you know, northwest arkansas is an incredible destination kind of what comes hand in hand though is that you're starting to see the emergence of some really incredible bike racing going on in northwest arkansas most notably, you had the, the Cyclocross World Championships in Fayetteville just back in January of this year, where you know, even though it was the height of Omicron and COVID, you had racers coming from all over the world, fans coming from all over the world to be in Fayetteville for that race. Um, you've got a really impressive mountain bike race, um, the, the, you know, the Oz Trails Classic up at, at Centennial Park in Fayetteville as well. You're starting to see the development of a lot of uh, you know, some of the biggest gravel events in America are taking place in Bentonville. And I think over time, you're going to see a real explosion in mountain bike racing there as that infrastructure, the trail infrastructure continues to develop in Bentonville. So our athletes, our coaches have been coming here really going all the way back to probably about 2018 or so is when with mountain biking and gravel, we started to get some traction. Then what we did as an organization is that we held what was called a coaches summit um, about a year ago. It was almost to a day. It was a year ago. Um, and what we did is it was the first time since COVID that all our entire coaching staff all got to get, get together in one place, uh, except for the Tokyo Olympics. Um, you go back, it was, it was not since before COVID that we had our whole staff together. Mm -hmm. So we got them all together. We had three days of meetings. Um, it was, we held the meetings, believe it or not, at Crystal Bridges. We had, it's a beautiful, they set us up with a beautiful space there. Uh, it was great because we took our uh, coaches and our operational staff out bike riding. It's kind of like some team building stuff between meetings. And for a lot of these folks, it was the first time they'd ever come to Northwest Arkansas and their eyes got about this big. They're like, I had you know, read about it, but I didn't, I just couldn't grasp how incredible the riding infrastructure was. That experience is the classic, you know, kind of one thing led to another. And, you know, we've got our headquarters. Our headquarters is in Colorado Springs, but we wanted a, a really dedicated um, mountain bike hub in the United States. And so we had discussions with, um, you know, some folks up in Bentonville about making that happen. 
uh, you know, our riders are already coming here to train. They're already coming here to race. It was really, I think, just kind of cementing the presence you're seeing with a lot of our national team riders here. And so we were excited that those, um, you know, kind of finalized those conversations. And um, what it means is you're going to see a whole lot more of us um, starting in 2023 and in Bentonville and Northwest Arkansas generally. What is the training schedule? Of course, we're all leading up to uh, the LA Olympics in 2028. So between now and then, yeah. how often, how often will you be here training? Yeah. Yeah. So the way, um, like a lot of, you know, big time sports, you know, during the, during the season, you're traveling to races. These athletes are training to, to races all over the world. Bike racing is primarily a European sport. So the, um, you know, the, the circuit, the, the most prestigious circuit is what's called the World Cup. And the World Cup is largely in Europe. It's a little bit down in South America. There, is, there are some World Cup races here in the U.S. as well, but primarily they're over in Europe. And so you know, you're talking from you know, May through September. Um, that's where the, the athletes are spending the bulk of their time. Where you will see them in Northwest Arkansas in particular, you know, you're probably talking in the spring. It starts to warm up. Um, you know, for folks who, you know, might otherwise be training in Colorado or something like that, the, it's just the trails are all still shut down because of the snow in, in March and April. So you can come to Bentonville. What we can do is we do team building camps where it's a little bit more fun than it is just going out and hammering down and getting fit. But then we'll have fitness camps here. And then the variety of terrain that is available in the trail network in Bentonville makes it so you can also do the skills development camps as well. And for, for, for mountain bikers in particular, you know, the, it's kind of the two aspects you have to have. You've got to be able to be just flat out fast and fit. But then, you know, these courses are very technical. So you have to have technical capability as well. And, and the way Bentonville is built out, our riders can have access to both of those forms of training. So the early season is the perfect time for that. And my expectation, yeah, you know, you're talking February, March, April. That's when, um, you know, you'll, you'll see folks in their Stars and Stripes jersey crawling all over town. How does this work now or how will this apply to uh, those on the collegiate level? Is, is there going to be an emphasis in, in, in focusing on, on those folks as well? That's a great question. So one of the things we're doing with, um, you know, we really wanted to do something innovative. Um, and so when we had the discussion of actually opening up an office in Bentonville, we said, how can we make the biggest impact? That'd be one thing just to focus on our mountain bike team. But we said, look, what if we also, you know, there out of Bentonville, you're right down the road from the U of A or right up the road from U of A. Um, you know, we, we collegiate mountain biking, there are a small number of schools that have amazing teams and, you know, a lot of our you know, future Olympians and future professionals run through those teams. Most of, most of them are in Colorado. You've got Colorado Mesa out in Grand Junction. You've got Fort Lewis and Durango. Um, schools like that is where you see the vast proportion of, uh, you know, you've got some other ones, some smaller schools, Lindenwood and Milligan. These schools that tend to um, tend to attract uh, top end cyclists, you know, it's it's not like it's a um, it's not like college football where there are 200 teams doing interesting things out there. Uh, and what, what we want to do is we, we want to be able to create um, an environment and support so that more schools can start their first bike racing club from there, maybe expand that to actually becoming a varsity team to make it so instead of just being 10, 12, 15 high caliber schools, all of a sudden it's 30, 40, 50, and on and mm -hmm. on and on. That's ultimately the goal. And so to do that, you know, as an organization like ours, to do big things, what you have to have is great people who are deploying a really smart plan. The people who are going to be responsible for our collegiate efforts are going to be based out of that Bentonville office. So the office has, ultimately it has two purposes primarily. One is going to be in support of our mountain bike national team. Mm -hmm. And then the other is to, for us to really make a big investment in growing collegiate cycling. Seems like the sky's the limit on the collegiate cycling aspect. There's no doubt about it. What's interesting is high school mountain biking is very popular here in Arkansas. It's popular. There's a league called NICA, the National Interscholastic uh, Cycling Association that teaches a lot of kids to, to um, race mountain bikes. The best athletes out there, 
um, you know, in college and who turn pro and become Olympians, they all come through NICA. But for every one of those kids who's a superstar, then there's a hundred kids that just go out and they're just having a blast, just having fun, being with their friends, being out on the trail. And so we celebrate both forms of mountain biking, the really competitive side, but it's also just kids being together outdoors. Um, you know, we really celebrate that as well. That's really how we're going to, to our, our collegiate strategy is modeled after that. Varsity programs are there for the kids who are taking it really seriously. But, you, you know, there's also a lot of potential for these club programs as well, where it's going to be a little bit more social. And the, the good news is this, is that, you know, the, the NICA is supporting so many thousands of kids to discover mountain biking every year. The challenge is, let's say you got 10,000 kids graduated from high school every year who participate in NICA leagues. There are very few schools for them to go to that have really strong mountain bike programs. So we want to create that continuity from high school into college. What we believe is going to happen if we do that, if there's really great collegiate opportunity, more kids in high school will start mm -hmm. racing bikes because they can see the pathway. And especially if you can link that pathway, as you suggest, from collegiate cycling into you know an Olympic dream, uh, that just that just um, you know really lets kids' imaginations go wild, and, and that's a, a, for a lot of them what causes them to to decide to participate, which is great. Is there any way to know what sort of economic impact this would have, or this is going to have in Northwest Arkansas starting yeah. next year? That's a great question. I mean, I think there are a couple of things. I mean, you know, when you talk about economic impact, one thing is job creation. And our goal, I think this year, you know, we're just kind of getting this started in 2023. And it's going to take a year to get this off the ground. I expect we'll have, you know, let's roughly call it like five or six employees, USA Cycling employees based in Bentonville in the first year. So, you know, you've got you've got economic impact for that right there. I think the other form of economic impact, though, is the tourism impact. And um, Bentonville is already in Northwest Arkansas is already doing such an amazing job becoming a bucket list destination for cycling. But I think what happens is when you've got the best cyclists in America spending more time here, Instagramming their rides here, creating videos from the rides here, it's just going to create that much more appeal around the mountain biking, gravel riding, cycling, and just the, the friendly people and the, and the fun culture of Northwest Arkansas, I think that's going to drive the tourist economy as well. So I can't tell you what the economic impact will be, but my, my hope is that it's a huge success. You know, for us, five jobs becomes 10, 10 becomes 20 over time. And at the same time, we want to help amplify this message that I think is really starting to cut through to all of America which is Northwest Arkansas is one of America's greatest place, greatest places to be a, a bike rider. And, um, you know, I think, uh, I think I'm glad they're building all those new hotels in Bentonville because they're going to need them. Well, I appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you so much. This is, this is fantastic news for this area. There's no doubt about that. My pleasure. Well, thank you for having me. And I look forward to spending, spending more time in Northwest Arkansas.